up, y'all? Back here in the garage. Freaking semen all over. Knocked over trash can. Raccoons. Must got in here again. Semen all over the place. Fender flares all broken. Chuck must got excited. I mean, just look at this. I didn't even have it in four wheel drive and somehow there's white stuff on all four tires. You gotta be kidding me, freaking raccoons. I'm over this. I'm done, I quit. Freaking helmet. Had enough of this. I'm done. Interior's okay, but that don't matter. Don't matter anymore. This is bull. Look at this. Does this look normal? No. What the heck? Well, I mean, like, at least use a dirty sock or a tissue, but on my truck? Freaking raccoons, I swear. If they're intelligent enough to use their hand and, uh, spank their wank, they can at least clean up their mess, you know? Had enough of this. Bull crap. Freaking, how do you even get your stuff to clog up like that? How bad would that hurt coming out? What the heck is that supposed to be anyways, a kidney stone? This is stupid, man. I mean, I just got my fender flares and my Nerf bars, fender flares, freaking mm, all over the place. Raccoons cannot keep things nice. What the heck? I mean, even my truck got scared. Look at that. Stuck on there. He must be pulling some, eating some solid protein or something, because, man, if that stuff's stuck on there, I hate to see what uh, the Suburban will look like underneath. This is bullcrap. Man, I'm telling you. I'm going to have to go set some traps, so guys, I'm going to clean this up or something, and I'll be back with you later. So guys, I just started cleaning up, and I found, like, natties and in this trash can it's full like miller lights and stuff so i guess these raccoons are alcoholics too so i'm just gonna schedule aa meetings at my house from now on because this is freaking stupid i mean like i know that's like 12 no probably like three bucks worth of cans which you know three bucks is a lot of money because i can use that to buy like 300 pennies but i mean this is just stupid. I mean, I know it's the neighbor's beer and stuff, but still, at least don't leave it in our garage, you know, like put it in the mailbox or something, you know, like something that it'll be a surprise. Don't just leave it out. Like, this is just uncalled for. I mean, they could have at least left a ha ha note or something, you know, like raccoon was here, like the Joker, but no, just have to trash the place and then leave. You know, I guess their nocturnal emission was kicking in or something, but this is horrible, guys. I mean, like, look at all of it. I mean, like, see, uncalled for. I mean, look what they did to my board. I don't know if they thought that was a bet or what, but whew, hate to see what. I bet that Lady Raccoon won't be able to walk for a couple days. I mean, this is uncalled for. Well, guys, I'm going to try to clean up the best I can if it's not stuck to the ground. I mean, might have to get out the pressure washer or call up the fire department to get out all this stuff. It's probably stuck to the floor. I don't know what. The, it's probably like 12 boars and like one sow raccoon or something. You know, I don't know if they have raccoon hover or something like that. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what the heck they're doing, but I, this is crazy, guys. What the heck is this supposed to be? Looks like there, there's a tip on it. I don't know if that's protection or what, but I have no idea. I shouldn't probably be touching that because I don't want to get pink eye, but man, guys, I'll be back with you later. This is crazy. All right, so I just cleaned it all up as best I could. You know, it's still stuck onto the ground in my truck, so I don't know if the raccoon ate, like, concrete or something, and then it just, you know hardens it or what but this stuff will not come up so i'm just gonna call the fire department and tell them they get out the biggest hose they have to uh 
wash this out because this is uncalled for, man. Like, I don't want no, uh, other raccoons coming in here and just thinking, you know, white truck, might as well, it'll blend in. Well, no, because this isn't, you know, Mr. Raccoon's little property. This is my property, so I'm going to put a warrant out for him. So I just got done clean up. 30 seconds, I was sweating so bad. Got this broom, started hitting a raccoon. It was up in my motor mount, came out on my boot, started humping my boot. Look at this, will not come off for nothing. Got a little um, poopy stains down there too, but you know, that will not come off. So, I said, you know what, Mr. Raccoons, I had enough of you. So I set this high quality trap and in case the raccoon somehow could read or something, I put not a trap. They won't notice the difference, you know? They climb right in there. You know, they start going at it. Lid shuts right on them. They'll still be going. You know, then they'll probably fall asleep because they're so exhausted. They'll wake up. Can't get out. No doubt. So, that's it for today, y'all. We'll be kicking back in some other time, but right now I'm kicking out. See ya.